Hey team, David here, and this is Day in the Life of an APM. My morning starts with a quick breakfast. Being an APM is about staying on top of updates, and the best way to do that is to start my day with Confluence Mobile. Not only can I easily see what's happening with real-time notifications, but I can quickly view our mobile activation strategy. This morning, I wanted to remind data scientists about completing a report, so I use inline comments and reactions to keep the conversation going. After breakfast, I log into my email, open up Slack, and check my calendar to get ready for my day. First, I have stand-up with my immediate team. This is the time where everyone gives status reports, discusses blockers, and since it's Friday, we talk about our individual wins and annoyances from the week before. Today, I ran through a presentation on our cool new mobile feature page outline. I can easily present my Confluence pages using presenter mode. I can also open up the QR code in case givers want to join from their mobile device. Next, we have what I like to call grind time, time where I can put my headphones down for deep work and listen to some of my favorite songs. The biggest action item for today was defining our new mobile activation metric. I like to use the Confluence Daisy template to kick this off. This template makes it super easy to record important decisions and at mention my teammates, the conversation keeps going. After finishing up the day seat, it's time for a lunch break. I go to the nearest sandwich shop because you can't manage the product without managing your stomach first. After lunch, I have a couple back-to-back -back meetings with different engineers who need clarity on some product requirements. After about an hour and a half of meeting, I take a quick 10 minute break. I hydrate the plants, I hydrate myself, but more importantly, I hydrate the soul with some more good music. And then it's back to work. I wrap up my day by creating new project posters in Confluence and tagging my teammates to make sure they're aware of what I plan on roadmapping for the next quarter. I also like to circle back and close any open loops by resolving, reacting, and responding to any inline comments I might have missed from the week before. When all this is done, it's time to call up my friends and figure out where we're going for dinner.